This is the beginning of an average day of a QCC student. How long does it take you to get to campus? Around 28 minutes, but if there's traffic, 45 minutes. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes, depends on the bus. 30, uh, 30 minutes to 20 minutes. Like normally it's about an hour. About an hour, hour and a half. One hour and a half to get here. When I first came to QCC, I used to live in Brooklyn, so it would take three hours getting here and three hours back. So that's six hours per day. This student is late because of the bus. Have you ever been late? Yes. Sometimes I get tired from staying up, doing homework or, you know, things like that. And then I start, you know, taking advantage of the fact that I have a car and thinking, okay, I can make it, and then pressing snooze, and then I don't make it because all of a sudden when I think I had 20 minutes, there's traffic, so now I'm 45 minutes away. Most students struggle with class every day due to unexpected things. I don't think anything is easy. Making your schedule, because if you know what, you, which, what you're better at, if you're a morning person or a night person, then you can make the schedule the way you want it to be. I will say there's nothing easy about college, man. There are things that people find easy because they are good at it, but it doesn't mean that it's easy for everyone. Sometimes, a student has to step out of class because their parents are calling them to ask for help or to ask them to translate something for them because they don't speak English. I didn't want to go to a private school because I believe that I could still learn something at a community college, even besides the financial uh, you know, benefits, I still believe that I could still learn something and I have. Wanted to start somewhere where I can get a taste for what college was like and not just start somewhere and dive right in. And I wanted to work my way up and work my habits up to becoming a better student. And I felt like I could do that at QCC rather than going to a four year straight away. I applied to many colleges and the ones that accepted me, I couldn't afford because they're really expensive. So QCC was always my backup plan. So I start here at CLIP, which is CUNY Language Immersion Program. So the best solution that I have it was to transfer, in, transfer here, because I was already here taking the ESL classes. So that's why I choose QCC. Sometimes, Cultural and religious issues interfere with academic development. In your opinion, what is the most difficult thing about college? The most difficult thing for me personally is uh, time management and organizing, making sure that um, you schedule things so that you don't uh, are over that you're not overwhelmed with all the work that you have. Using the website, like scheduling classes is really cryptic. The website is like really like poorly laid out. Like honestly, if you just figure out how to use the website, like they should just give you like a master's. I think the most difficult thing about college is that it doesn't leave room for getting your life together. For example, if you're going through like an emotional breakdown for any sort of reason, you don't have time to regather yourself before going into school. You have to just jump right in. So I feel like that's the hardest part about education or just, you know, the life in general. There's times where I come here and even though I believe that it's difficult, I find ways that I could be able to move forward. For example, I use college as a way to show my leadership. And one of those examples is me starting and founding my club, Art and Design Development. Through the help of my vice president, senator, even the members, 
I'm able to create a community of artists and creatives that we could join together. And even though that may seem like just a curricular activity to other people, for me, this was a starting point for my career to help and facilitate other people. Pretty much, you're doing two things at the same time. One, going to work. Two, coming home, then going and learning what another thing is. What is your least favorite subject as a college student? Least favorite? Uh, probably history. History. Math. Statistics. Physics. Math. History. History. Most students get homework on top of more homework. This student is now thinking about how he can manage his time and get his assignment done. Too much. The classes that we learn, especially when they're required, aren't required for us when we graduate. And I think that should be something that should be fixed. Having a professor that can convey it in an entertaining manner is difficult to find. They're not really elaborating on certain events that have happened and they're skipping over major important events like we barely go over the Great Migration and we don't talk about all the genocides in the world. and. We're missing out super major components to the oppression that still exists today. I mean, the class, this, it's, the, it's the class, it's not the, the, the topic, it's the class. The way they teach is not good. They don't nurture your no. knowledge. Michael, what can I do for you? Uh, can I please get an extension for my paper? No. But I've been working so hard on my assignments. Michael, look, everybody works hard. My grade depends on this. My GPA is going to get lowered and I really need this. Everyone's grade depends on this. Everyone's grade, GPA is going to be lowered. So all the other students in the class have things they need to deal with. And they got their papers in on time. But I have a lot to deal with. I have many assignments to do. I understand that, but you can't have an extension. Have you ever missed an assignment? Yes. Most of like the online assignments are like really annoying and really difficult to like hand in, so it's mostly the online stuff. I can't say that I actually missed an assignment. I kind of in assignments late because we're human. We always have other things to do. We have a life. I know that there's going to be times where I'm not going to be able to finish it on time. And even though I do miss it, I do what's important and I take responsibility and I find a way that I can make it up or I could communicate to my professor. But at the end of the day, the student has to finish their homework and get it in on time in order to fulfill their dreams.